Tonight, CBS 47 continues our investigation into COVID contact tracing in Fresno County. We first told you Friday of new data that is supposed to show us where the coronavirus is being spread. It's data that we've been asking to see for months. Now that we have it, health officials tell us it's not reliable or good data. CBS 47 investigative reporter Kara Rucker tells us why that is. Kara. Catherine, this is the graph the county released on contact tracing. The problem is the graph only tells a fraction of the story. Only one in every five coronavirus cases compiled in the county is represented in this graph. I, I would, I would, you know, humbly submit that it's not complete uh, and that we need to uh, just take it with a grain of salt. Fresno County released new contact tracing data on its new dashboard, but tracing where exposure to the virus occurred in Fresno County has been elusive. We looked at the sample size of the data. It's 19,000 responses compiled in this graph, but there's 94,000 total cases. That's one in every five cases the county is able to compile data from, a 20% success rate. Are we satisfied with this 20% success? Um, no, we shouldn't be satisfied. Uh, we should just try to uh, apply the lessons that we've learned um, and, and try to do a better job in the future. Dr. Vora explained it's difficult to track a virus that is new and so widespread. The, the global picture was that everything was slow in the beginning, everything was inefficient. Uh, I think we did learn um, some lessons and uh, we continue to learn lessons about how to do this better. The county's contact tracing team is comprised of 83 case investigators and 35 contact tracers. And the information they do gather is hit and miss. The kinds of feedback and interactions that we're getting, it's just hard for us to come up with clean, good information to share with people. Dr. Vora says we don't need to be dependent on the data since the data isn't where health officials were hoping it would be. People just need to know that, you know, we may or may not be able to find out exactly who gave them the coronavirus just because that's the nature of the contact tracing program that we have. This is how the data they have compiled lays things out. 60% of transmissions happen in homes. 10% is coming from the workplace. 12% is coming from the community. A senior epidemiologist says they are able to track outbreaks. There is information regarding outbreaks at specific places. Yes, they do. They do. We do have teams that do track that information. But we aren't able to see the details that make up this data. We're always um, uh, mindful of people's privacy, so uh, we would probably err on the side of, of not disclosing publicly uh, unless it was, uh, you know, a, a matter of public import that, that people um, really needed to know. This public records request we sent to the county in early January, trying to find out the funding for contact tracing. Our request is still pending. But we do know there was at least $10 million spent from the CARES Act money on contact tracing in Fresno County. I'm reporting live in the studio, Kara Rucker, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.